probiotics, prebiotics, prunes, dairy-free, gluten-free, Miralax, and more. Those are just some of the things parents routinely tell us that they've tried when looking for the answers to help their child overcome chronic constipation and go with more ease and more regularly. Despite making all these diet changes and adding all sorts of supplements, most parents tell us that their child's struggles with constipation continue. If you're a parent who's tried everything and are especially concerned with some of the serious side effects that come along with medications like Miralax, then this video is for you. The one thing you'll learn all about in this video is the single biggest missing link in helping with constipation naturally. You'll learn how the vast majority of constipation cases are not caused by dietary or nutritional issues, but rather stem from stress and tension stuck in the nervous system. And most importantly, you'll learn how to find the stress and tension stuck on the nerves and muscles of the gut and what can be done to help relieve it. So please share this video with other moms or parents that you know need to hear this message. Moms like Luca's mom. Poor little Luca had a broken poop button early on in life and now while while there isn't officially a poop button in the body, there is a cluster or what we call a plexus of nerves in the neurospinal system whose job is exactly that, stimulating gut motility and opening the door, if you will, for a child to go poop. After trying everything else from diet changes to supplements for Luca, turns out it was a stressed out and subluxated nervous system holding him back all along. So let's learn all about what subluxation and this missing link for kids with constipation really is. Now the first thing parents deserve to know is that there are multiple options for caring for constipation naturally without medications like Miralax which come with a whole host of side effects. Some of the natural options focus on dietary and nutritional changes while others focus on finding and relieving stress and tension stuck in the nervous system and on the nerves and muscles that control gut motility. In over 80% of the cases in our practice, parents have already tried the dietary and nutritional changes like probiotics and prunes, yet their child still seems to be struggling with constipation, which moves our focus of care directly to the nervous system. When there is stress or subluxation stuck in the nervous system, one of the first things it interferes with is the gut and digestive function, often interfering with gut motility, absorption, and elimination, which then leads to constant constipation challenges for a child. We call this neurogenic constipation. And the best option to help a kid with this type of constipation is to get them neurologically focused chiropractic adjustments to help relieve that stress and tension stuck in their system and improve gut motility. We jokingly call this hitting the poop button in our office. And for most kids, the relief is immediate, resulting in full diapers or a run to the bathroom before they even leave the office. At Sprout Family Chiropractic, chiropractic, we measure stress stuck in the nervous system, where it is and how much of it there is. So when we saw Luca's scans, we weren't that surprised that he was still struggling with constipation, even though he had already tried dietary and nutritional changes. His scans showed major stress stuck in the vagus nerve, which is responsible for resting and digesting. When the vagus nerve is stressed out, it turns down, which means that the functions it controls like gut and digestive motility also get turned down. The other area of major stress stuck in Luca's nervous system was in the lumbosacral area where the other half of the parasympathetic or rest and digest nervous system lives. This is the area we call the poop button plexus. Neurologically focused gentle chiropractic adjustments work on removing subluxation and stress stuck in the nervous system and the body does the rest. This is why when we focus on removing subluxation, things like constipation, reflux, and sleep all tend to get better. If your child is struggling with constipation and you feel like you've tried everything already, schedule them for a consultation and exam in our office so we can get them scanned and see if stress stuck in their nervous system is the thing holding them back from going with ease. As always, please ask any questions you may have by leaving a comment or sending us a DM. And if you found this video helpful or you learned something new, please feel free to share it with another parent. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.